Good morning, friends. In the previous videos, we have uh, we are exploring the Spark uh, Web UI on local host port uh, 4040, and we already covered jobs, stages, storage, and environment. In this video, we'll cover executors. So as we can see this in, in, in executors, we can again uh, monitor a lot of stuff here. What is running on the executor nodes? So as we have learned in the Spark uh, architecture diagram that all these executors are running on the worker nodes. So this page actually gives details about the executors, which are which are the like actually essentially the, the Spark programs or the Java programs, which are running on each worker nodes and executing our tasks. So we can see uh, that there are a lot of additional matrices that we can see. But by default, uh, it's all unchecked, but we can look into more detail about all the like Java, uh, Java heap memory or, uh, or execution memory and all, which is inside this executor. So in a sense, I mean, th there are like two main tabs, which are listed here, summary and executors. So summary information. So here in summary, we have got information about the executors that were created for the application, including memory, disk usage, task, and shuffle operation. So shuffle uh, information is given, shuffle here, shuffle read and write, only when we are using any such shuffle operation, uh, for example, reduce by key and all, which we'll uh, learn in the, in the later videos. But uh, if there's any, it will be shown here that how much shuffle read and write was, was done. Now let's go for each of them. So we have got uh, storage memory here. The storage memory was only 2.2 GB. And out of which we I mean, it was only like used with 0.0, .0 because uh, in our simple program here, it's, it's quite a small, uh, small uh, amount of data that we are storing in the RDD. That's why it's coming as a very low value. It should be some values, but it is so small that it's uh, rounded off as zero here. Now the course that is being used is four. As mentioned that we have got four partitions and four cores because in my local machine, there are four CPU cores. Now the completed task, as we have learned that because they, we are running four uh, actions or four jobs, that's why and for each of the job, there are four tasks associated. So that's why it's four by four is four by multiplied by four is 16. So it's showing here that completed task over 16 and out of total 16 and all have been completed. And the task time GC time is 0 0.2 second is for GC time. And because I have been running it for quite some time, as you remember that I will, I was running this program I'm, uh, and we have got this block here to keep the, the main program running. So it's still running for uh, to just show the demonstration of this uh, Spark Web UI. It has been up for 15 minutes. So and other information that we already read that shuffle read and write would be done what would be given here only when we are doing any shuffle operation like reduce by key or uh, some other or group by key. So this was about summary summary tab. Uh, now we let's go to the executors. Now summary here it will give uh, the aggregated information about if we are having more than one executor or more than one a lot of record nodes but here in this simple example the summary is only like uh, we are only have got one executor that's why we have there's only like one entry here for the executors which is and the executor id is actually at a driver mode and we are learning it locally that's why it is having uh only like one executor as driver node status is active because you're still running and other details are given here like storage memory number of cores tasks completed and so very much similar to what we are in the summary Summary is very much similar to executors because uh, there's only one executor. So there is no aggregated information as such. And if it's only like for one executor, it would be only one, the same information. But other important thing here is that we can we can see this thread dump here. So thread dump for executor driver can be clicked to see the whole thread dump. So if I just click this, this is the thread dump for this as only one, the only single executor that is running in the driver mode. And we can see this whole thread dump. What are the methods being called in the in the thread dump? So it's a very detailed information. Again, it was very useful when we are actually trying to debug anything, uh, and we actually need to monitor this thread dump. So guys, this was all about executor dump. I think we have explored all the various tabs throughout this uh, two three videos. Uh, stop jobs, stages, storage. Storage is right now null environment. All the it's a very detailed information about the Java and the Spark properties, and more details about the executors on the running on the worker node. This was all done by this uh, by this line where we are waiting. We are keep on running our main program. So now let's terminate this program. So I will just press an enter here, which will mark as a scanner.next line, and our program is terminated now. 
Now this concludes our chapter three, which where we ran our Spark first program, and we went through the Spark Web UI in very detail uh, fashion and uh, understood all the tabs which are displayed in the UI for monitoring. In the next video, we'll cover chapter four. We will start creating the RDD using parallelized method, and we will dig into more details about the parallelized method. So see you all in the next video.